Okay. All right, guys, we're back. Game two of the semifinals. Maru versus Shocks. Taran versus Protoss. Not surprising. Shocks will choose Fighting Spirit. Uh, really, Maru would have probably was very happy that the fact that he got <laughs> that he got Destination to start things off. Uh, so I'll be very interested um, how Shocks will go about doing this. Again, this will be a more of a generic. If you want the iconic modern day Brood War Fighting Spirit TVP, it's probably the most common. I would say. Um, in my casting career of a year, I say at least like sixty percent of my games have been casted on this map that are Terran versus Brendos, and that's not a slight exaggeration. That is like the actual statistic, I believe. My god. Boop. And we're just waiting for them to agree upon stuff. And I, I believe they're gonna do all Brood War again, if I'm not mistaken, to make it even more crazy. Regardless, we shall just wait. So, again, I don't... Fighting Spirit, you can do a whole bunch of different strategies on for TVP. I, I don't... I, w I wouldn't favor, like, cheesing like we saw, like, Technics versus uh, Ankle Break. I, don't, I, I really wouldn't expect that uh, to two racks on this map. Or, well, you obviously can't do Well, actually, you probably could, but uh, I don't expect we're going to see that much cheese on this map as we kind of saw in that matchup. So, anyway, in the top left hand corner, it will be the Red Terran Maru from Mouse Sports right here. And in the bottom left hand corner, it'll be SMI Shock. Shocks. And so these will be vertical positions on Fighting Spirit, all Brood War, all day right here. No unlimited selection, which means you can only select 12 units at a time. Auto mine means that you can't have your little, your little rally point off to the mineral line. And lastly, smart casting, you can't, you can't have 12 vessels and EMP 12 different times because they're all going to EMP at one location, which would be obviously kind of stupid. Um, and don't pay attention to those statistics because really... These players are way better than D level, I can assure you. They're not my level. Alright. Uh, so Protoss, probably going to be opening with two gate goon. Probably the most standard. He could do a one one gate expand as well. Not as common, because a lot of a lot of brute... The most common, at least metagame TVP, it is like standard meta to go two gate goon and just start pressuring. Sometimes he can even win the game if you have an incompetent player that's not ready for it. And what is Morrow planning? Because I don't think he's getting gas. Like, he's, he's just, he just set himself to manner himself so bad for his geyser. Because you can't lower, you can't lower these depots. Uh, Morrow? <laughs> Morrow. Morrow. Oh, it's Team Morrow. So he's mouse from Team Morrow. I am, I apologize. My God. And... You probably could have wrote that in chat, and I probably wouldn't have seen it because my chat was not auto-updating for whatever reason. So, yep. It's team Mouse, wait. Morrow. I'm confused. Player Morrow, Team Mouse. Okay, I'm going to listen to Laylush. But, ugh. My lack of understanding of... Of modern StarCraft 2 is, is really killing me. Unfortunately, I believe Mouse has actually. No, Morrow. 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 Has failed to. Has failed to. Oh no, he didn't manor himself. What the hell? He just knows what's. He just knows what's down, dude. He knows what's going. He knows this mod. He knows this what to do. Uh, yeah, so he actually has no idea. Shocks will find. Well, obviously from. You know, eliminating top right and top left, top right and top right hand spawns. He kind of knows where Morrow is now, but unfortunately, has just hasn't been able to get the scout off. But I don't even think Terran is even scouted. But he's actually getting lucky with the scout. But he hasn't. He kind of failed to start scouting. It could be a late scout for a reason. I'm not gonna read too much into it. Oh, the probe's in a bit of jeopardy right now. Oh no, never mind. Now, looking like he's just doing the same build right here. Getting up a second goon right now. I don't believe he did that uh, last game. 
Uh, but if he doesn't throw it on the same, I'm thinking it's just going to be a one gig, uh, one gate expand again. Um, it's just looking like that right now. And Terran, uh, four, four or five Marines. It's looking like it's going to be an FD push. This is going to be an FD push, guys. All right, so we're going to actually see uh, Terran going to be going for the FD push. Not like it's super surprising or anything or exciting, but you know he's doing the FD push. Uh, and putting up the Marines back on the top of the ramp because he uh, he can't see in the high ground, so he's going to have to push this goon up right here, and the Marines are going to do massive damage. And as long as they're on hold position, the goon really can't do anything despite having the range upgrade. <clears throat> the only time you could probably break out of that would be if you had like more Zelf stuff, but the expand will go down. And yeah, that's where we're at right now. And Terran? Um... Getting up the tank right now, and then he's getting up spider mines right now. So again, this will be the FD push. Maru knows what he's doing right now. Uh, I'm in hold position. I'm in hold position. Uh, all right. Holy shit! This push is coming up. Now this is supposed to be a fake double, which means it's supposed to fake the Protoss to like overreact because it's not it's not a two fact, but. Uh, Generally, with proper hold position micro, like, or, you know, stutter step, whatever you want to call it, uh, he can just get rid of a lot of these Marines being pushed down right here. But the mines are going to be the main issue right here. One Goon will follow this right now, but if he continues stepping back and microing with this range, he should be able to clean this up with, with uh, not too much trouble right here. But he's losing on a Goon. Oh, no! Oh! The mine kills both Goons. Actually, he's in a bit of trouble right here, despite this being just a standard FD push right now. The Nexus will finish. Uh... He may actually lose that because he's not going to have... Is he making a robo? Yes, he is. But unfortunately, you need to still get the observatory after. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Tyron's going to have an expansion behind. So this isn't even like a... Like, this isn't even like an all-in push by any means. It's just, it's just a pressure. It's not even the best to do this much damage. Unfortunately, he could probably just go into a two-factor and win now. And he's going to get mines in the main base. That's going to hurt. Oh, taking another... Mine shot, GG by Shocks. Leaving this best of three, giving it tomorrow. And for everyone that didn't understand when I kind of broke through my thought about the uh, ho the holding of the Marines at the top of the ramp. When the goons come up, they can't actually, they can't, the goons can't fire from the low ground unless the Marines fire. But the Marines don't have enough range to fire to the low ground because of their short range. So the goons have to come up, then they're in range of the Marines, but the Marines are in range, so they all attack the goons way faster so they can't kite. I'm not gonna, what does troll mean? Probably trolling. <laughs> but I felt like I would do that anyway because I'm nice. Uh, now, what are we looking at now? Did 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 Technics win? Technics? No, no, they haven't updated actually. Uh No, 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 no. No, no, that's the quarterfinals. I'm I'm sorry. That's the quarterfinals, not the semis. Uh So what that means is well, Let's see here. He so that was the quarterfinals. We're going to the semis now. So Morrow is gonna go play. No, that was the semi. No, I'm so an idiot. The second semi hasn't gone on yet. That's what. Yeah, that's what it is. Cause I I want to say Technics won. By looking by reading the chat, but I could be completely wrong. Unfortunately. Uh so I don't I don't know, chat. Give me something here, because I have nothing else to talk about. Other than my mad confusion of how this tournament is continuing to progress because the bracket isn't updated. But that's that's to be expected though, because really I couldn't be casting if it wasn't for Maru. If it would, no, it, I'm mixing up. Layla, 
That's what I'm thinking of. I'm going to announce a short break right now, so we'll be back.
Oh. Okay. All right, guys, we're back for the second semifinal. Sorry for the prolonged delay, but Technics had to destroy Joe something. Joe Fish, I think is what the guy's name was. Which actually surprises, which actually kind of makes me uh, think of Joe Kim when I think about it, above all things. But anyway, so the bracket, yes, yes, it was Joe Fish. LRM Technics came up 2 1 in that series, so it was a close match. So this map will be again TVZ on Destination. Again, same rules, same thing applies like the last semifinal destination. Can make it very difficult for Terrans to engage, I mean, uh, for Zerx to engage Terran on. Um, uh, but it, it, it will also somewhat depend on what Terran, what Mevis decides to go for. As I mean, bio, bio isn't as tingent upon choke points as uh, because you know you can spread them out as much as you want. Uh, but tanks, you know, you could just give a, a choke point where massive splash damage happens is why they're so effective. So mech would be potentially very viable on this map, but uh, bio is sometimes a better opening for Terran. So you might see a quicker transition to mech. I don't exactly know, but we will we will see. Bit of lag right here, but anyway, spotting the top left hand corner, top 12 o'clock position as the orange Terran, it will be Mevis. Let's go, Mevis. And in the bottom right hand corner, as our uh, purple Zerg, it'll be Technics, LRM Technics. This guy gonna be awesome. Auto mine is on, unlimited selection is off, and smart casting is off. I hope you guys understand what those mean now. Hopefully. I've uh, covered that enough, but uh, yeah. Two-player map again. Uh, while Terran can have a difficult time on this map, I mean, dominate. Why do I keep on messing that up? You can also there's also uh, you know a, a probability of cheesies. There's a back door with a decent amount of mineral patches right here. That is 16. There's 20 mineral patches with zero on them. Actually, they have one on them. So I don't know. Actually, I don't. Do these actually gain mineral patches now? Because in Brood War, you, you never got uh, patches that had zero minerals. You, you your SCV wouldn't actually pick them up. Um, you they just continued to mine. Once they would stop mining the patch, you just have to re right click on it. So I don't know if that applies here as well. So you know, being wary of that. Now the Overlord will be just checking that what's going on over there, and it looks like a twelve hatch is coming up right now. Uh, Technic's not gonna not gonna be doing the pool before hatch. Doesn't feel like he needs to stop against a uh, what we call it a you know you know a two rex you know a BBS or something like that. Uh, and Terran's actually tight wall too, so I don't actually that might not be tight. I I I will never know what walls even even in an updated version of Brood War, I still don't know what's the tight wall. Um, if this was Brood War, this would this wouldn't be tight because the depot would have to be above the barracks. But I don't believe that applies here. But I get I just don't know if this is tight or if this is tight because I, I I never know I never know. So just just you know leave it to that. So the hatchery is going up. Pool is being thrown down now. I this map you lurkers could be very nice if you want a three hatch or. Really want that drone, that drone dead right there. All right, uh, but lurkers couldn't might be uh, effective in this in the early game. So you could see a three hatch lurker build uh, on this map, which could be effective. But Beadlisks isn't. You would generally do a three hatch lurker build if if you didn't think the map was sufficient. You could do enough damage with Beadlisks, and I don't really believe that in, in Destination. I mean, you have this whole area to, you know, volley around. Uh, so we'll see. Of course, it you know, it depends on what Technics wants to do. But I believe Technics has wanted to go for the... Oh, wait, we have a push here coming in here. It might looks like it'll be a bunker rush right here. Oh, no. Ah, oh, this is going to be tough. He's going to put another bunker right there, making it super difficult. Technics is going to be in a bit of trouble right here. Oh, so annoying right there. Uh, gonna get up his creep colonies though, so it shouldn't be too too bad. Um, as I don't think he's gonna have enough marines to really kill off this creep colony in time. 
um, as it's so far so far behind. And creep colonies actually do do outrange marine, so he should be okay. Um, has getting up his guess, and he has thrown down the third hatch, so it will be a three hatch something. And again, this this push looked absolutely horrific, but Technics is re reacting to this you know plenty fine right now, and will ultimately kill us off. He just won't have a uh, good map control for the time being. Um, and he's just immediately, as you could tell, as you could see, rather he's just going to evacuate both. And unfortunately, he can't salvage them, which I believe you can do with StarCraft 2. Um, and so Terran, uh, going to be coming out here. These links should be able to nom nom their way through these barbarians right here. Link doing massive damage and will ultimately kill, the, kill off the remaining uh, marines right here. And trying to get up a depot and a barracks right here. All right, then. With that early pressure thwarted off, Technic's looking pretty pretty well, you know. Hasn't really lost too much damage, you know. Reacted accordingly. He's killed off two, you know, 200... Actually, is there a mineral lost tab in here? Do they actually have that in this game? Broodward never had that. Hold on, let's see here. Resources. Resources. That's no. Oh, but these marine... These lings are coming in here. Lings, excuse me, are trying to come in there, trying to harass that worker on base right here. A little stray marine right there getting cleaned up as well, but ultimately not too much happening. But anyway, what is this? Resources lost. Oh, bam. Cocky L. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, Tyrant's lost 300, uh, 500 minerals versus the 200. So, I mean, I mean, just overall, Technics is looking ahead in that, in that regards. And... He's going to be probably going uh if what we'll see is the hydrogen will be thrown down around 60% when that layer is done. So we'll see if that will be thrown down here. Oh, we have some really good harass training. Oh, the SCVs are stuck in there. Oh, too bad they couldn't continue uh, attacking them right there, unfortunately. But just being annoying, Technic's doing his thing right now. And those links better get out of there. Be too much difficult. And it will be lurkers. So I was right. I feel so cool. I'm not an idiot caster like I was a year ago. Woohoo! And Terran? Uh, probably gonna get up to five racks. Um, he's up to four right now, so. How many Marines does he have? He has a bunch of Marines. And he's getting up his third hatch right now. This seems a little early. But because Terran's not actually around the map right here. So Terran, what he should have done is to actually will realize, will scan that it is Lurker coming out here and would want to push. Because once the Lurkers get up to this point, it can make it very annoying for bi for any kind of bio push to happen. As you can tell, there, there's, there's no factory coming out right here. And so he's not going to be ready. So Terran is putting himself in a position where he's not going to be super well. Yeah, because this is this isn't gonna work. Because he's gonna have lurker aspect done. He has scanned. How will we react now? Will he push? Now yeah, looks like he will. Because yeah, you want you want to make sure those lurkers can't get out right here. You can even you can even contain the zerg uh, the zerg as well. Because I mean, with proper micro, especially in this mod where it's easier to control units, uh, you can really you can really do a very good job. At defending, at, at uh, you know killing off lurkers in small numbers. Unfortunately, you can't really micro when they're right here. So that's not. So he is pushing right here. So he is doing the right thing, and we'll continue to see how it will continue to progress. Now we do have a bunch of lurkers being morphed right here. We do have five, I believe, coming here. There's a lot of uh, medics right here. One thing I did notice though is that medics do not heal. When Marines move, they have to be static, if I remember correctly. Now, he will be stepping in here. Lurkers are morphing right here. Kitty Barrow, they will, six Lurkers will be morphing right here. And Marines will have to be pushed back right here. But he could still set up a contain. Um, may not be able to do any damage, but all the, all the drones are going to be in so much trouble right here. Technics is a bit of trouble for taking the, a super early third right here. This could be disastrous for him. Now, would the Lurkers be able to advance forward? It looks like they will be able to. Desperate Sung's trying to be established right here. The medics are, in no, in, are nowhere to be found to help heal the Marines right now. The Lurkers aren't helping either right now. These two Thunks are not doing enough DPS on these Marines right now. Lurkers are going to be advancing. It looks like he may lose one. No, it looks like he'll be able to... 
hopefully be able to save his base right here. Losing one lurker so far, and these lurkers should be able to clear this up, but he will scan right here. All the Marines just leaving all the medics there, and they are just getting cleaned up at this time. Medics will be heading home. So nice defense from Technics. Very tight moment right there. And so he has established his third. Now, Terran, unfortunately, again, wants to make sure that these lurkers do not get outside of his base. That would be very, very bad. And it looks like he's going to try to get third base at this time right here, which does give Zerg a bit more uh, maneuverability to figure out where they want to push right here. <laughs> Look at that. Just barely not being able to hit right there. Lurkers are going to be pushing back right now. And things I love about medics. Trying to kill them off. Lurkers borrowing right here, pushing back right here. May lose a lurker right there as they're pretty low on HP. Stepping forward. The kitty split in time. Uh, lurkers are pretty good, but it's the lings are gonna come in here and clean up. Alright. But more reinforcing bios coming back in here. Will he be able to sufficiently do enough damage? These lings are getting melted apart right now. And this lurker is done for. Actually, does he even have for a skin? We'll just burn off the scan right there. And this lurker will fall, hopefully. And ultimately, did get cleaned up. Continuing the pressure at this third base right now. Keep in mind that he, keep in mind at this time, Zerg is no longer ta uh, you know pressuring this third. And this is the problem with three hatch lurker. Is that it's so hard to well, I, it, you don't you don't have as much of a map presence when you don't go meatless. Um, so you know, just seeing how the build will work in that time. Getting up the second star port now. And yeah. All right. We have what seven barracks coming up now. Uh, he is going. I don't know why I said. I don't know why I technically said WTF. He might be being like WTF, Jamie. What do you say? You're such an idiot. What are you saying? And I believe that. Okay, so... Terran has his, is getting his uh, mech on. He's getting his double star fortress right now. Uh, and does he have Siege Tank done? No, he doesn't. He actually has forgot mode. Uh, I, hope, I hope he starts getting that soon, right? He wants Siege mode. He wants Siege mode. That's not just me, right? He wants Siege mode. Um, Alright, but anyway... Coming in here, Lurker Ling coming in here, but there's still no Dark Swarm out right now. And these Marines using that Medic Wall, brilliant positioning here, but the Lurker still do a decent amount of damage right now. Uh, and it looks like he's going to be researching Irradiate at this time as uh, behind this pressure. So you will be starting to get up those vessels soon. Looking back at home, has Carapace coming up. Look at these tanks. Oh, he got drop. He's got a lurker drop, people. Oh, this could be so annoying to deal with. There, this isn't a massive drop. Uh, and I'm just trying to figure out where Technics' army is. He has 41 links. Oh, it's right here. No. They're right there. I'm such an idiot. There's an Urdu. There's an un. Dulles calf. All right, here comes the drop right here. Now, this Minder line could be in a lot of jeopardy right now. But we have a drop here as well. Double frog to drops everywhere. It looks like he realizes about this right here. Will the Lurkers be able to get in the Minder line right here? He will be standing right here. Will the Lurkers be able to get massive damage being done on the Minder line right now? It looks like he has, he still kind of left this drop AFK in the back of the base right now, unfortunately. But he can do massive damage. He's doing a double drop over here as well. My goodness. And these lurkers still in there. And the uh, overlords will get out of there. Okay then. Marines should finally be able to hopefully clean that up. Oh, uh, but look at this right now. He's a bit of trouble. <laughs> Ling's kind of bugging out right there. Not really sure what they're wanting to do. Oh, he's got a radiant lurker too. Better borrow that right now. And it looks like he's found about this draw, but he still hasn't done anything about it. Let's see if uh, Beavis will even do anything about it. 
Technics, you monster you are. Just feeding up. These links are. Look at this. this is just, what is happening? <laughs> this is how good medics are, I guess, right? Finally starting to use them, but Hydra should be able to clean this up with uh, minimal trouble. Did he kill off this base? Wow, these lurkers still doing damage. Seven kills, seven kills, 14 workers killed off right here. Uh, that's from that drop right there. And these tanks are in a bit of jeopardy. Oh, will that Link get the kill? Yes, he will. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. They read it the drop ship too? What? What? What is this? Ooh, but losing a couple drones. Ah. Lurker drops coming back in again. This base is a bit of trouble right now. Um, what's the worker loss? What's the worker? Workers killed? Oh, these. Oh, the carnage being committed right now is absolutely insane. Uh, 26 workers killed so far in the greatest scheme of things versus 17 of the of, of the other guy v Very entertaining game Mevis isn't Mevis is just falling apart from these lurker drops unfortunately And he's just gonna lift him up and go into the main base right now Oh, and he just burned off a scan too. Oh, he's got trouble right on top of the lurkers. This is SCB lads gonna be in so much trouble uh, could have been a lot worse. Uh, and we'll get cleaned up. Taren, though, Zerg's still off of three base right now. Still hasn't yet to... He's still off of that three gas right now. Does he have Hive? Now just getting Hive right now. Fairly delayed. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. These Lurkers advancing a little bit. Will he have enough? He does have Dark Swarm keep on, but I don't think it matters with his Hydras, with his Lurkers just coming in here. Too much DPS from Technics right now, and Technics with above about 40 supply. Probably gonna look to take this game momentarily right here. Taren has expanded down here at the nine o'clock position right now. But I don't I believe what Technic finds out about that. If he does find out about that, that space will get killed off very quickly. The tank proving to be very, very effective with their 75 damage. Stupidly ridiculously overpowered here. But wait, we have a drop happening in the main base! Is he gonna go for the pool or is he just start target firing? Gonna be going for the drone line right. Lurkus advancing forward. Will he will he burn off a scan? Uh, no, it doesn't look like that at all. This lurker will be able to probably kill, kill us off right away. Some Hydra lurker doing their thing. And Mevis. Mevis is kind of falling apart right here, guys. Not not doing too well. Trying to see what he can do. Trying to get up, you know, as much vessel production as he can to stop these lurker jobs. Who knows? But with the Hydras out, with the Hydras out, he can just start killing these uh, signs with the Orphe wants to get Scourge out. Oh no, 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 no. The tank gets killed off. Oh. And does he even have a spire? He doesn't have a spire for Scourge. Oh, these Evo chambers look boss. They're like extended. They're pretty awesome. Hydras should get cleaned up after all this though. Technics kind of left this control group of army not really attacking right here. <laughs> SCVs will clean that off. Wow. Let's see where this drone's going, guys. I'm gonna take an expansion right here. Hydras coming in here. And this base in a lot of jeopardies. Hydras do a good amount of damage, especially with plus two attack. On a mass repair and going down right here. Will it be effective enough? With that tank in the back, I don't know. These Hydras are gonna be in a lot of trouble. Tactics gonna back out of there. Marines gonna be stepping forward. Ooh, found a couple of overlords right here. Oh, but look at that. Can't exactly see them. Because of the high ground. Ah, uh, there we go. Pushing them off. Taren? Technics, what are you doing, my friend? Technics is actually... How do you look at the economy? Oh, here we go. Uh, guys? I just want to point this out here. Technics, while doing massive damage, they're both at the same base count. Like, they're mining... They're mining equivalently, like they they have the same income. So, Mevis actually has a chance to come back here. Uh, could that could be very scary? Ooh, killing off this base right here. That's gonna definitely affect the economy, though. 
But Terran is somehow grasping against this. He needs his high tech. He needs his defiler mound. But I don't think we're seeing one. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Continuing to force. I mean, Mebus is doing his, is holding his own with this. And he's getting to the point where he's actually he's actually has a decent army to start pushing again if he'd like to. Zerk has expanded down here at the three. Terran gonna be bringing a dropship over here with three HP. Unfortunately, not being able to do anything with it. We have an engagement here. Hydra's getting melted, melted. Looks like Terran's gonna be pushing across this three o'clock. This base is in a lot of jeopardy. Tactics is not is in no position to defend. This base is done. How will Tactics react? He's going to do another drop, it appears. All right, behind this, he's going to be doing his lurker drops right here, but he's got to lose the base in the process, if not careful. I mean, he is like, he's going to, do, yeah, he's going to do a doom drop, maybe. With the rest of his army, he's going to be pushing right here with his lurkers, but there's three, four vessels right here for enough for at least four radiates, if not more. Uh, that tank in the back, though, is going to do so much damage, especially with the detection of the science of this marine, this marine tank arm, the small one, at least. Still proven to be very effective right here. This base will finally get killed off right here, along with the drone count. Massive drop happening over here towards the 9 o'clock. But this base is also in a bit of jeopardy as well. As Sector is isn't going to be able to help reinforce right here. The drop's going to be commencing right here. Will he be able to defend? Will he be able to borrow them? Yes, he will. The tank will be falling down. SCVs will immediately react and run away. So this base will have to be lifted off and run away. Will technically be able to... Uh, survive off his third as he hasn't secured a fourth base after all of this not that he necessarily would need to in terms of his economy but his main base is starting to be uh mined out right now look he borrowed in here getting off a couple of the subterranean spines right here and ooh, do, 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 do. trying to see what they could do but a lot of raids are being uh thrown down here even wasting uh, using some excuse me on the hydralisks and Terran is still, you know, Terran, he's holding himself back in this game, guys. He's lost the base, but he's secured another base coming down over here, throwing it down. I don't know what, I don't know who to say who's winning right now. I want to, I want to give the slight edge to Terran as he's continuing to get it up his bases. As Zerg is not going to be able to, Zerg's in trouble trying to secure another base. But I probably could be super wrong about that as well. All right. What do we have here? Technics. Technics is still off of zero, and I mean zero defilers. And to be honest, I wanted to see what the Dark Swarm looked like in this game, man. I want to see what Dark Swarm looked like. Irradiate looks pretty cool. Oh, they actually, the Irradiate's doing a lot of damage on those hundreds. Even d Major's doing that really low tank right here, trying to survive. Tank will finally get killed off, though, unfortunately, even despite the d Major being established on him. Oh, it looks like they count as shields, actually. Hmm. I wonder what counts as true damage to them, then. All right. Stimming back in here, trying to kill off this big, but there are two lurkers right here. Can he get the Arrhenius up? Will he push back his bio? No, he's just going to run directly into these lurkers, probably not paying attention right away. Hydras and a Lurker are going to be advancing right here, but going to be running into a tank and a handful of bio. Looks like he's trying to go hit this top right-hand base. Will be effective right here, but it looks like he, the D-Matrix on the two Marines is going to be sufficient enough to do to kill off this base right here. Will he just stim and kill this off, or what will happen? We'll be stimming forward. Lurker is going to be borrowed right there. Ooh. Good job. But the tank should hopefully be able to clear off the lurker right here, and we'll get cleaned up right here. Master preparing the this the command center, and this base looks like it will go down. There is no, you know, there's no reaction from Tech to help reinforce that, unfortunately. And base will go down. Oh, he's gonna lose so many drones in the process. Oh, massive damage being done. Oh, wow. Technics still trying to be all over the map, though. I wonder what the APM of these players are. Ooh, that's cool. Like one third, like about 100, you know, like 150 around that area for both players. Something like that.
Oh, but these overloads can get caught if they stib right here. Will they stib? He's gonna lose a lurker. Oh no, he's gonna stib. Oh no! He's lost two, three. This drop is only holding two, four lurkers right now. A beautiful reaction by Mevis right there, even if it was unintended. GG from Technics. Make FS. GG. Well played from Mevis. Mevis has holding his own epic TVZ happening on Destination, my favorite map. Technics will leave the game. Well done. Woo! Great game, guys. Wow. That was awesome. Not gonna lie. All right, so game two, uh, we'll be on Fighting Spirit if Technics wants that to go down. Uh, yes. Oh. And again, thank you to Lay, uh, Lalish and Russ Brain for running and sponsoring this tournament. $100 going to the winner of this tour. All right. <laughs> Apparently, Technics doesn't want to join because he declined the lobby invitation. Is that directed towards me, my BM, or is that FG? I don't know. My chat just doesn't work after a certain amount of time. Wow. All right. Is there a reason why Technics continues to decline the lobby information? <laughs> Might be a while. I'm not Laylush. I'm not Laylush, actually. GG. Uh... <laughs> Mevis is talking about how his macro was not super sufficient. Um. <laughs> All right, view profile. Let's see. Let's see what Mevis is ranked in StarCraft 2 cuz that's how we're cool. Oh, he's Masters. What the hell? Are you serious? This guy like Masters now. That Wow. He's masters in everything. He's beaten he's been the Wings of Liberty campaign on campaign. I'm brutal. Brutal. His most played race is random. And he plays GB2 a lot. And he's played over 3000 games his entire career over 3 years. Pretty legit. This guy's pretty awesome. His match history has gone like this. He has won. Damn. He's won. He's won. If you look at his SC2 Brood War games, he's won every single one of them. This guy actually does a crap ton of... This guy actually does a crap ton of custom games. I won't lie. They're like all. I he's never done a one v one game. Like, I'm looking at like the past like four weeks. He's not done a one v one. Like a straight up just one v one on ladder. That's cool. Still, let's look at his one v one history. No matches played. Cool. Well, Technics is in the lobby now, guys. He says, "Go, good luck, have fun." Gonna be sweet. Oh, ho, hold on. Technics, Technics is gonna be switching it up. We're gonna have a TVT here, guys. On FS. Gonna be probably pretty long game. <laughs> but isn't that what I said last time? And then we, it turned out that <laughs> Technics <laughs> just held off to proxy T-Rex against uh, 
Uh, what, what was this? What was that name? That was almost an hour ago. Versus ankle break. Uh, good times, right? Right. Technics, I really hope you win. You are my fan favorite. You are my. You are a fellow brood war like myself. So let's 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 show these SC tours where we we mean business. All right, spawning here in the bottom left hand corner, on fighting spirit. It'll be none other than Mavis. Pretty awesome game last time, holding off Technics nonstop aggression. And then in the bottom right hand corner, it will be the purple Terran Technics. Let's get it right, guys. Technics, pretty awesome, dude. Okay, so making this a TVT again, unlimited selections off. Smart casting is off, so that means it doesn't really mean too much for this game because TVT there isn't a whole lot of spells being used, and then auto mine is on, so that means you can rally your SCVs to your mineral line without pressing a single button. Which I have to say is probably one of the most difficult aspects of Brood War for me. It's just to continue to. Con have my my SCVs mining. It, it, so much EPM is is used towards just making sure your SCVs mine. Anything else? But uh, yeah. So SCV. Me was trying to hide his depot, whatever that's supposed to mean, or it's just kind of hiding it there. Ooh, getting a lucky scout off right here. Gonna be doing that right away. Now this is a little bit of an earlier scout. Uh, this is actually what I do. And we'll see here. Technics gotta be thrown down the barracks right here. We'll see if Mevis will will harass his SCV. How will? Yep, and we'll just be pushed away right here. And so we'll know the stand stuff. Is he just gonna send it right back, or is he gonna plan something? Well, he's going over here. What Mevis are you planning? And grabbing his gas as well. Me. Me Mebus doesn't is he gonna do a, a a CC first? You you rarely ever see this. Um and I believe Oh Mebus, why would you do this? I, I believe he may have just lost. If Technics, you know, catches sight of that, um he could just go in with like two like two factories worth of vultures and then just win. And or just do so much economic damage that CC first hasn't actually benefited Mevis in any way. Um, as you can tell, he's already has his gas mining, and he's going to have his factory done by the time this, this space is done right here. Oh, he's going to even harass right here. May, he may even get the SCV. No, he won't. All right, then. Factory is going up, like I said. And really, Mevis isn't going to have any... He ends up for some time. He could even have pressure with a Marine if he wanted to, if he felt like he was competent enough to do that. Unfortunately, it's not so easy to do that. And yeah, look at that going down the second factory, like I said. Uh, CC first. Uh, I don't even know if it's even viable. I don't even know if it's viable, in, to be honest, in TBP. In, in TBT. I never do it because I always lose when I do it. So, But then again, I'm an E-ranker. And for, for the 100 people that are watching or whatever, that pretty much means is that the E rank is the equivalent to rank 100 bronze. The only reason why I can ever feel assured that I know what I'm talking about is because I've casted Brutal for about a year. But unfortunately, it doesn't matter how hard I try, just the mechanics of this game are just way too freaking difficult. Oh, he's going to have a bunker up. Marine's going to try to get through that, but ultimately we'll decide to push back right there. Now, that bunker there is, you know, is an issue. Oh, no, he's just going to go for tanks. He's not even going to go for vultures. Why does he need a second machine shop? Technics, do you play Terran? Because I am pretty sure you cannot support two tanks off of one base. Because the general fact, factoid of Terran, in TVP at least, is to produce... You can only produce you you get, for every base of gas you have. You had one uh, machine shop on your factories, but but somehow he's making tanks. I I I don't I don't follow. Oh, the SCV will get in. Oh, that is unfortunate. But really, what this will allow him to do is he'll set up a nice contain going on. It's probably why the SCV is right here. 
So that is nice. And yeah. Do, 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 do. And whoever said the game looks weird, I don't know because I'm not actually. He's having. He's following my camera. Um. Probably the reason why. But he's gonna be coming in here, pressuring with two SCVs. That means he's gonna be putting up some turrets, some bunkers, some, some depots or whatever, pulling every single SCV he can. Uh, this might be a little bit different. That's a very interesting reaction to this right now. Uh, and we'll see if it will be able to do a nice stutter stepping backward right now, but he's losing a ton of SCVs in the process. Keep in mind, he will deflect this back. But three tanks, man. Tanks is just going mass freaking ass tank right now. Uh, but this will buy enough time. Probably get up a tank or two, especially with siege mode. No, he's going to go with mines. He's going to follow up with mines right here. Now, Technics needs to be very careful. If these, if these vultures are somehow able to get away from that, he's going to be... There's really he's not gonna have anything back at home to defend from a vulture crass. And that was I that was a and that was what I was gonna be afraid of. He's gonna have these vultures just run right by this army. And he's gonna be able to do a lot of harassment. Um, okay, no, actually he's gonna hold off his ramp with it. No, he's not. Please tell me, Technics, you're gonna defend this, please. Oh, Technics. This is gonna hurt. Some micro on micro of vultures. I, I believe he should have just gone for the mineral line, so maybe it won't be as bad. Sieging up right here. This is a Terran's worst nightmare, my worst nightmare in TBT. He doesn't have any tanks. He's going to get a, a drop ship. He's going to try to force like a base trade, but unfortunately, vultures don't really win base trades. No, he's going to drop him on top of the tank line. Brilliant stuff, but he's going to immediately unseed right there. These vultures are going to do absolutely nothing to these tanks right here. Three of which are so low on HP. If he can only just attack them, we'll... I really hope he knows that these tanks are so low on HP. One tank will go down. Two more vultures are getting on top of this tank. He may just... <laughs> Mews may just have enough to defend this right now. Uh, and he will. Wow. Getting up the two vultures. Regaining up his base now. Now I wonder... Economic-wise, Technics is actually ahead in both regards, actually, believe it or not. Um, so this base actually hasn't really done too much for him. Um, and Technics is actually ahead in supply by 10 supply right now. That's a pretty big game. Harassing the mineral line right here. It does take three shots, unfortunately. <laughs> because SCVs have 60 HP. They're pretty boss. And Mavis is continuing to deflect, but taking damage in the process every time. Now, he does have that dropship, and he, and he could. This is close by air, so these are horizontal positions, so he could drop right in here and do some damage. Wow. Mevis. Am I saying it wrong? They say me, Riss? I don't know. But, Technic's coming back in here. What will we see? With it? What, I feel like he wants to justify to use this dropship right now. Third CC trying to be established right here. Ooh, takes being... I mean, he's uh, taking some Spider-Man hits right here. He's, I don't think Technics' pressure is going to hold on for too much longer right here with the tank right there. And the Siege. And the Spider-Man will hit on the tank right now. Actually, Technics will survive for a little bit while longer. Technics still has two uh, Miss Rally tanks right there. And he's getting up his base going right here. He's off a second. He's off a two base. Pretty sweet. Mm. Has a tank in here. Pretty awesome. Okay, so the tank, while well, that's doing its thing, Technics, interesting far back position uh, for his siege line. Now we do have this third command center being down here. If Technics looks for that, he could easily make a, make it a lift off. Now what will he do with this tank? He's got to drop it somewhere. Oh no! Technics trying to come in and do some harass, but he's not target firing the SCVs. Just having it on auto attack. Here comes the tank right here. Ah! I missed it. I don't believe he got a shot off, though. 
I don't want to say he got a shot off. So, I hope I didn't miss anything like that. Uh, Dropship's coming back right here. Technics has unseaged his tanks right here. Nevis coming pushing back in here with his two tanks right here, which will deflect off Technics right here. Technics still doesn't know about this third base right now. Uh, Technics throwing down in random eBay in the center of the map. Why not, right? It's any it's just it's just like any other place on the map. It's obviously a better location than inside your base, obviously. Terran. Just off of a crap ton of factories now. Going for the double upgrades as well. Technics. Three factories for himself. Technics is actually maybe looking like he's gonna be behind from right now. Uh but if you look at the production tab, he's actually making more right now than his pound, uh, counterpart is. Now, I want... Yeah, orange is ahead slightly in economy-wise. We have a double dropship coming inbound, guys. Oh, no! This is going to be bad! Oh, no, no, no! So much damage. Nope, never mind. Not too much damage being done. Oh, he's drop right on top of the tanks! Massive damage being done on these tank lines right here. Fourth thing complete on scene. But Technics has the dropship power, uh, the Goliath out, so these dropships are in a bit of trouble. It only takes four shots of a Goliath with zero upgrades to kill off a dropship. Fun fact. Cauteron, this is the semifinals. Technics versus Mevis right now. And Mevis is going to be going into a siege line right here. Is going to be pushing back right here as he doesn't want to take 70 damage. It looks like just barely. How is that in range? That is in range. Never mind. Ooh, Technics establishing a top right hand hidden expansion right here. Are these vultures gonna know about it? No, it doesn't look like so. Nope, nope, doesn't know about it. Oh, taking a, putting on a third, fourth command center after all of this. Well done. Technics. Why are you attacking your own command? Why are you attacking your own siege tank, bruh? Now they're both- now, well, at least one has a, a- one HP, one has... I really, really think... One of the most beneficial things of playing StarCraft II Brood War is the fact that you have health bars on units. Thus you know what to repair and what not to repair. So going in here with his vultures again... But again, apparently they're just always aggroed onto the vultures themselves, not... The SCVs, unfortunately, they gotta be like hellions, dude. You got you got to gotta send them in there and do some damage. You gotta you gotta target fire. Now trying to spot with the dropship. Oh, sacrifice a tank to take down another tank, but it looks like it will get killed off from Technics Goliath right here with the plus one. Mevis is looking very powerful right now with the one one. Technics needs to do some counter harass right now, or else Mevis is just gonna get too big of an advantage. But keep in mind, guys, it is TVT. And TBTs can last for a very long time, especially with the really, really powerful Steve Tanks and TV. TBT and Brood War, excuse me. And look at this. Beavis has found this top right hand base for a Technics. Technics can react by sending four Goliath over to take it out. Magnificent. <laughs> He's gonna be flying his command center to take a fourth. My goodness gracious. The siege line looks pretty awesome. What? You could just about this far out. Can you guys see that? I didn't know you could do that. Look at that. Boom. That's cool. I didn't know that. If you want a good vision of that siege line right there, bam. Get back to a more viewer friendly experience that's not super wide out. Technics trying to do some more counter harass, but again, sending these stray vultures is just not going to do anything. I, I I really just don't feel like it's going to do much of anything. But, oh wait, Technics coming in here. Oh, being just pushed away, and unfortunately for him, that means this base is getting a lot of... Never mind. He's well defended. Ouch. Tanks continuing to be sieged up here. 
Now, what is maybe his goat game plan right now? He has a fourth base, he's just not using it. It looks like he's trying to like set like this like nice like super large arc around this place right here. Okay, Vulture's trying to come in through here, but running into so much mech will just ultimately just die. Ugh. Yeah, Mevis hasn't done a whole great ton of harass right here. What's the unit's loss have again? Unit's kill control R. Technics is killed off. Technics actually killed off more workers than Mebus has, actually, so I take that back. Technics now trying to saturate his own third, trying to get that going. Okay, is this really is this really neat worthwhile? I mean you're gonna take a fifth base? Well, I get that, but you're not even using this one! I take that back, he's probably gonna send um one from his main base over. And where are we at now? Some siege on siege action happening over here. But uh looks like it doesn't really matter. Technics having but 10 SCVs just not mining in his top right hand base right now. TVT, guys. Epic stuff. That is a lot of freaking. It's a lot of factories. Yeah. This game does have reactors where you can make two units out of one production facility. No. That would be silly. What you have is you have. You just have to make as many buildings as possible. Oh wait, we looks like we have a doom drop coming in here from Tactics. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really, really bad. But it looks like Mebus is in position to deal with it. Oh no, he's gonna immediately have to pick up right here. But unfortunately for Mebus, he has no glass to shoot in the air. And we'll get cleaned up right here. And he's just gonna drop it in. In what? What? Hey, okay. All right, there we go. Only after is it is this really not, he's gonna lose a tank? Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. Whew. That could have been really bad. And I'm gonna try to get an expansion right here. Mevis, what is your plan right now? Mevis, by the way, guys, is ahead by like 40 supply in a mere matchup. Goodbye, dropships. Vulture's just trying to come in here like Speedy Gonzalez, trying to just. Wow! Beautiful explosion happening right there. The vultures are literally just running into their deaths to kill off tanks. I love that. That was entertaining to watch. And while, really, while Mimes is just continuing to situate himself better and better, just getting more and more sea tanks right here. I mean, he has. 18 C tanks to, uh, to Technics is 12. And Technics is are spread out. I mean, three of which are up on this location. Now, Technics gonna be trying to lift it up off to this three o'clock position once more. Oh, this could be bad. Gonna be lifting up the tanks right here. Sieging them up. Technics is just struggling here. Oh, and he's gonna be lifting him back up. He's got six tanks in this dropship. Is he gonna sacrifice them? It looks like he will just off the top of the tanks. He will be doing that massive damage. Massive explosions happening on screen. Uh, was it really effective? I don't... It could have been vultures, not tanks, but... Whatever. We have some counter hats of Goliath. Goliath are actually pretty good if you can center step them right now. Looks like that's what Technics will be doing, but one stuck. The AI Paddock is a little bit, a little buggy in StarCraft 2 Brood War because of Maverick. He wanted it to be more like Brood War. And that's what we have right here. Ow, ow, ow. And that Goliath is in a bit of trouble. But, you know, getting a decent amount of damage being done on that mineral line. But my god. Really? I, how many SCVs does this guy have? Technically, she has more SCVs than, <laughs> than, than um, Mebus does, actually, believe it or not. Goodbye. Oh, okay, there we go. Now we got to be dropping off the vultures right here. Now, Mebus got to try to get this as, as 
time to position his tanks in a better position right here. Tank on tank action, but ultimately, Dagnix will kill off the last tank. But Mimus has two two upgrades. We'll be lifting up another four vultures right here, but there's somebody good that I don't think it's gonna matter. Can some one vulture before it dies? And he has lost his spotting barracks. He's gonna have to rebuild that to build any more t any more factories. No longer building off any of the factories. Mebus has 3.5k bank, just not utilizing it. But guys, you have to remember, that is a fro. What is this? These are all filled. We're gonna have a massive doom drop happening, guys, ladies and gents. Let's see if it will be super effective. Where is he gonna drop? He's gonna drop into the main base, it seems. Uh, he may lose eight. Oh, we just barely get him with the turret. Will he be able to do it? Here we go. He's gonna lose two drops just before he can fully drop them in. Here we go. Gonna be seated up right here. Texas is in a lot of trouble losing his production capabilities and he can't leave his main base. Gonna be trying to go back in the main base right now. Oh no! Well, will Mimus use this time to position himself? It looks like he'll be advancing forward right now. We have some vultures coming back here to the top left hand natural base of Mebus right here from Technic. Getting a lot of SCV kills right here. I'll try to keep an eye on that right now. Trying to drop the board more tanks happening on this SCV line, but is it going to be effective? No, Mebus is just dying and losing a whole bunch of his units right here. But Mebus is still killing off a whole lot of stuff in the main base right now as these units haven't been killed off. Just massive damage being committed right now. And the SCV and Technic is coming back in here to continue to harass this base as well. And finally, Mebus is going to bring up his own vultures right here to help defend. Some vulture on vulture action. Unfortunately, I think Technics will get killed off right there, but. But Technics has resituated himself in the top right hand main. I He may just. Technics may just be fine. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Yeah, I don't think Technics actually really cares. Technics is gonna be super happy. I mean, that is. 824. He's like 30 something SCVs right there. But Mebus has lost so many SCVs. 35 to 81. Oh my god. Wow. I don't think it really matters that Mebus has uh, six, five bases. Texas has six and he has 81 SCVs. Uh. So, he's coming in with another Doom Drop. Will Mebus be able to do this? He's going to the Battle Cruiser transition as well. Oh no! He's dropping everything! It's so epic! Oh, this base is done for. Will be able, will take this. Oh, he's gonna be. Oh, that thing is gonna be absolutely obliterated despite the low ground disadvantage. Shooting on the high ground with the Vulture coming back in here, trying to get clean on the tanks. Oh, he makes fire. Oh, that's the tank with the mine. Oh, no. Oh. Wow. Mebus is doing so much damage despite of his shit economy. Oh wow, going back in here, trying to click out of the tanks. He's still getting into his techniques is at 105 supply. But a lot of that is just, I believe, in workers. 30 of that is just pure on workers. Mebus, how do you look at the army supplies? How do you do that? Army. Oh, does this not tell you? 158? Is there no way to tell, like, the army supplies? I take that. Oh, control A. Yeah, 92 of which... Mebus has 92 supply, 90 supply of, of uh, army supply. And Wild Texas has 30. Uh, but knowing TBT, this game can go on for another 15 minutes. Texas will finally lose that base. Mebus, come back in harassing this other massive, this critical amount of SCVs right here. He might be able to get an SCV. If he could get a Mind Dragon this, that would be intense. But unfortunately, SCVs do not set off mines. Oh, he's lost every single SCV from this engagement. 
Oh, oh no, 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 Technic. Oh, why? He's just losing everything. There are some games that you can just tell a lot about, and that is this game was the dropship. Wow. Battle Cruiser Operational! Oh no! What are the upgrades on these things? Ah, uh, zero, zero. Well, there's still Battle Cruisers. We may even see ghosts out for, for Mebus. Wow, Mebus is just all over the place doing damage every which way. And it looks like this top right hand base has been killed off. Technics. Trying to produce up a four factories. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to do it. The battle cruisers, these and the eight battle cruisers. Coming I mean, your tanks can't handle it. GG by Technics on GG leaving, meaning that Technics will not go on to the finals, but well played. Get in the semis. Mevis versus Morrow for the finals coming up. Sometime in the future. Well. Well.
Oh. My God. Are we live? So we're back for the final. Is this a best of five? This is best of three. That's the five T. Oh God, this is gonna be the best of five. I'm kind of exhausted from one. Oh, uh, you know, I can find the brackets for you. But oh, uh, I I best of five TVT. All right, so. Mavens versus Mauro, the pro gamer Mauro. The countdown has begun, guys. And now I wonder what their settings have agreed to. TVT, fighting spirit, <laughs> fighting spirit. Apparently, someone in, in chat says Maru loves the turtle. Which is something that will be very interesting in a TVT and Brood War. Because it makes it even harder to, to kill them off. Um, but alright, anyway. But if we see some more ultra drop action like Mavis did last game. Oh my god, that'll be interesting to watch. Oh, ho, ho, ho. love it. Alright. Spotting in the bottom right hand corner as our blue Terran. It will be Mouse's, Mouse Sports Morrow. And in the bottom left-hand corner, with Mevis saying, good luck, have fun, it will be the orange Terran Mevis making the exact same positions as last game. Mevis' opponent, and it looks like Automine will be on, Unlimited Selection will be off, and Smart Casting will also be off as well. So pretty much we're seeing an identical matchup, identical positions from last game. Just two different players. All right. I find a lot more fun without... All right. Okay, so they're gonna they're gonna go all brood war in the next game. So okay. So with that out of the way, with their discussion gone, what will what shall we see? I get TVT. Um, if you guys don't know. I mean, I don't expect the sixty some people, whatever whatever the numbers actually truly are, are like avid followers of modern day brood war. Uh. There is there's a lack of Terran players. I believe there's all that's also true um, in StarCraft 2, if I'm not mistaken. But um, there's a lack of Terran players. So what tends to happen is you don't. Oh wow, that was ridiculous. You don't generally see a whole lot of. Uh, you don't you don't want to see a T, you don't see a lot of TVTs because uh, unlike StarCraft 2. Where you know you go on ladder and you jump and you you it's not like you choose what your matchup is you choose your random Terran Zerg or Protoss. Um, some players just truly just don't like TBT, so what they'll do is they'll play Terran versus Zerg, Terran versus Protoss. But because they don't want to, because in the event of a Terran versus Terran, they play Protoss versus Terran, uh, which is called a race picker. So, um, which you, which is pretty much eliminated in the in the whole StarCraft two. So. Um, TBTs, because of that reason, I haven't casted a whole lot, and I just honestly don't know a whole lot. The most generic build I know is a two-fact where you get a lot of vultures out and you start to harass right there. Ooh, he may lose an SCV! Oh, Mara will lose an SCV, unfortunately. Mira's going to be sure happy about that. All right. Now, Mauro, going to be getting the gas. Got to be throwing down his factory right now, as you can tell. And they're being thrown down. And same same shindig being going down for uh, me. It's just a little bit slightly delayed. Um, actually, I mean, that's like halfway done. That's actually a pretty delayed factory. Mevis, what are you doing, my friend? Ah, oh, now we're going to be throwing it down. SCV will get killed off for Mara right here, but we'll see that that factory's very delayed. Uh, now, I don't... He should be, I believe, maybe he can put one-to-one -to -one together that he actually has two Marines, maybe? And it could just be that he was spending APM elsewhere. So, lifting off the, the barracks, just getting some scouting information, getting some spotting going down. Now, what will we throw down? Just an immediate vulture? Yeah, this is right. When I did a lot of, uh, when I really was trying to work on my 
TBT. I did like 20 practice games in like one day. So, and this was the build that I always practiced. Um, well, you you always want to get a vulture out so you have a unit to defend yourself. Otherwise, sometimes it's a bit risky to just go straight up for a tank because if you have three vultures at your front door, it can it can prove to be very annoying because you'll lose a lot of SCVs in the process. Um, getting up two factories right now and going up directly to a starport. We're gonna have speed vulture drop coming up for for uh, Mebus, and you know that's to be honest. I mean, like that's what we. I mean, Mebus seems to be like a person that likes to drop a lot. And if indeed Maru is a player that likes to, de to defend himself, it'd be very annoying. Now, Maru, as long as he, you know, micros correctly, he will not lose that vulture as they have, they are faster and they have a uh, better, better range and they just do a ton of DPS to Marines. Uh, furthermore, they, you can also just patrol micro all around them. So you'll never take it. Actually, if you're good enough, you'll never take a shot from a Marine. Um, but that is very rare and you'd have to be like boxed to do that, but. Now, gonna be getting up that control tower right there. So gonna be go again, just gonna be getting that dropship, gearing up for that. Now, we do have Morrow being particularly aggressive uh, up to this point. Now, getting now, Mebus is now gonna have his two vultures out, so he's gonna have to look to be pretty careful right here. Morrow being so kind to his vulture, even repairing it, but really, that's really important right now, considering that. Uh, that's so early on in the game. And just killing off that... That, uh... Barracks right there. Morrow. Where is this happening? Where is this battle? Oh, there it is. Vultures will just be heading back home right now. Pretty awesome stuff. I'm a fan of vultures. Now, we're still up at two factories right here for Morrow. While we just have me just throwing down his command center. And again, I, did he actually build this without a dropship? No, there it is. I was like, hold on. <laughs> that would be very, very, very odd if for, for some random reason. Oh, so he got to drop them. He could drop them right on the ramp. That'd be effective. But oh, wait. This is actually going to be pretty tight right here. He may not even want to drop them because it's... No, he's got to drop them anyway. Mevis, I... Mevis, I don't know what you're doing. Mevis. He's trying to find a spot to, ex uh, spot to exploit right now. But unfortunately, I don't think he's going to be able to do that. Ooh. Also, if you guys didn't know as well, uh, Marie, uh, mines will not go off on vultures, even if they're on the enemy team. Fun fact. Fun factoid of life. And I've seen all tap for change. All right. And that bunker, is actually, that barracks is actually taking a lot of fire right now. And what is this guy doing right here? Has he dropped any more? Yes, he has. But it looks like it has been killed off. Fun, fun stuff happening. Huh. So I wonder if workers killed. What's this worker's kill tab? Units killed. Control R. Two? Yeah, so he's only killed two workers from that, so hardly justifiable. Uh, but Mewes has two tanks just out in the open right here. Oh, the butt mine! Oh, no! Oh, Mewes! Oh, he's not looking too good right now. Mewes needs to get up uh, mines right now, but unfortunately, he can be able to do this. He's in a lot of trouble right here. These three tanks are advancing with siege mode. Without siege mode, excuse me. Uh, Maru's kind of forgotten about siege mode, guys. Uh, and he's not mining it. Ah, uh, this could be bad. But like we've seen before, though, I mean, these tanks will eventually get killed off from these SCVs because they're so good. Uh, so he should start siege mode soon. Oh, the mine! Oh, no, no, no! Ah, uh, the mine. Mine drag. Shit. That's not good. And he's like, what? What happened? Not mine triggered? Why doesn't he lift this? Ooh, the mine again. But that, that wasn't as bad. So it looks like he should be able to defend right now. Oh, that's so sad. The r radius of which the tank can actually hit is not going to be uh, sufficient enough. He has a dropship, but he's lost significant mining time. 
Mara is setting up mines every which way. He's gonna have. He's gonna exactly know what's going on right now. While Mara, I mean, he's getting up his third. Yeah, uh, Mebus, unfortunately, is just not looking too good right now. He has a dropship with a single vulture in it. Uh, and we'll see if this can do anything for him. But I don't know what one vulture is just going to do. If there's already a tank in position to defend in both in both areas, he's not going to have nothing happen to him. And he can't push out the rip. Oh, the oh no! Of the, of the mines, excuse me, I'm sorry. And that got cleaned up very fast. Maru already has the Goliath. He's going to lose his barracks now because of the Goliath. Mar Mebus is in a position where he's probably going to just want to GG out now. Because he really can't do anything. There's mines everywhere. He ha doesn't have detection. And that hurts. He's, he's not going to have... He's, if, he, if he checks the Reavers, he's going to be so far behind in his tank count. It's not going to... It's, it's ridiculous. Okay, finally cleaning up those uh, those mines now. Command Center has finished for Mario lifting that off right now and should be dragging that very slowly over to that six. We have a good push coming out here for Mario right now. Getting on the speed vultures right here. Could set up a lot of mines right here. They all have mines. Keep in mind. And the tanks are going to siege up right here. And how will Maru engage? Will he just kind of set up a contain? How will he go about doing this? I sh will, do not know. Maru, Mevis, excuse me, gotta be throwing down that extra command center right now. Maru, what can he do to end this game quicker? You know, it's TVT. Do you run into three tanks and just pray for the best? Or do you just have a, a strong methodical game from playing ahead, even though you still could lose? TBT, I'll never understand. Now, Mevis, not. He's only producing up two factories right now. He does have a Wraith out, though. Which are a lot of fun. Which are a ton, which are so much fun to micro because it's not as difficult as it is in Brood War. You, you feel like a badass coming from Brood War and you're able to micro these things around. And they look pretty boss, too. I'm not going to lie. But Mebus is going to have no way to claim his third. Why did I just do that? And, yeah. I I don't know. But he's pushing in here with a lot of tanks, guys. He has, he's taking a very nice container right here. Continuing to reinforce with more and more tanks right here. He has his third up. Looking at the economy tab. He's almost about... Probably about 33%... Uh, increased in the economics of both gas and minerals right here getting up the turrets right here making it even more difficult to go on here i i think maru's just gonna wait this out guys me is gonna be lifting up these vultures like he's done in the past right here to drop on top of the tank right here he might just be able to do it no it chooses not to surprises me is he gonna waste a tank in this matter no it looks like he's gonna be pressuring the, either the 12 o'clock or the main base but there's turrets all over the place right here this is an annoying position right here. He's going to drop the vulture in here. Got to be killing up a couple of CVs right here, but it does take three shots of a vulture to kill off and off. But Maru doesn't care. He's going to be advancing here. This might be a mistake, but doesn't matter. Maru has three bases compared to the two of Mevis. Just walking here, waltzing in here. GG by Mevis. GG well played from Mevis. Giving the game one of the finals to the pro gamer Maru from Team Mouse Sports. Fantastic play right there. Wow. Do, 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 do. Andromeda will be the next map. Oh. Um. Could could you guys like not choose? I every map actually in in this map pool. I won't lie, is actually probably gonna resort to like half an hour TVT games. 
for our finals. Unfortunately. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to wait for the map game, to the map, to the the match to start up. Well, I check my email because I'm so cool. Let's see what we got in my email right here. Let's see what's in my inbox. No, it's still checking mail. So I'm still waiting to get invited. And no new emails. Got the Chinese word of the day, if that matters. I will read you the Chinese word of the day, viewers. That is... That is going to be... Yeah, which means also and too. Yeah. And then also, if you say yeah, yeah, it means grandpa. Fun fact. Learn some Chinese in some StarCraft 2 Brood War. Pretty legit stuff. All right. I believe they're doing all Brood War settings, guys, so no more of that auto-mining shit happening. All right. Countdown has begun, ladies and gents. Gonna be good. Gonna, gonna, gonna be good. Map will, be, map will be Andromeda. Again, I am. I like a, I like a lot of the maps in the uh, map pool. Uh, not, not so much Fighting Spirit, just because it's so generic. But I mean, to be, to be honest, I mean it's a balanced map, so right. Or StarCraft Two, or StarCraft Two Brood War actually balanced. Will we ever know? Spotting. In the top right, bottom right hand corner on Andromeda at the four o'clock position, it will be Mouse Sports' Morrow. And in the top left hand corner, as our orange me uh, Terran, it will be Mevis. Hope you guys are enjoying this cast right here. I believe all settings will be off. It will be Brood War all day, every day. Smart casting's off, auto mining's off, and ultimate selection is off. This is some legit brood war. All that really matters now is that we have a TVT, so we know it's balanced. And so it should just be brood war in HD. Right? Right? Probably not, but right, whatever. Okay, so Andromeda, a pretty awesome map, I would have to say. Very large, uh, and unless we're going to see some wicked ass, wicked quick cheese, I don't think we're going to see. Anything but a macro game. Uh, the center map is pretty awesome. Center, you can take these bases and it's fun. But anyway, you have an in-base mineral only, which you don't really see in Brood in StarCraft Two at all. And then you have a really, really nice, a really, really, really nice. I'm trying to think. Uh, natural. I'm uh, very easy to defend. It is a bit of. It's kind of a large choke, but really, it's not. Uh, it's not too hard to hold off. Mario gonna be throwing down the barracks over here uh, next to this area right here. What you can do sometimes, what I've tried to do, it's not very successful. But if you know where your opponent does spawn, you can actually put two proxy barracks back here because uh, it may not look like it on your screen, but you can actually build on the majority of this map in the center of the map. So you can actually put two barracks like right here. And then lift them off and paratrooper your way up. Uh, it, it's very difficult uh, because generally by the time you have enough units to break down these destructible rocks, destructible debris, uh, or their, uh, I believe the power generators in StarCraft, uh, StarCraft 1, they, generally your opponent knows that something's whack, wacky's going up and they'll generally scout it. But it's something you could try. Maro, but still just put in that that there just in case, just in case of any kind of shenanigans are going down right here. It looks like it's gonna be a one rack FE right now. Fun stuff happening. Gonna be getting up the bunker. Uh, th this, 
you could ask players. I don't particularly think this is a good idea ever. Um, and the reason for that is... The reason why I don't say a bunker is a really great idea because a vulture will just run right by... Will just run up the ramp r immediately with the bunker. And then if they see a bunker, they can just they can just get a seed shake. So really, the bunker is really not a smart idea in TBT uh, because you'll never see bio. Um, at least that's the way I look at it, so... But what you know, it's whatever. I don't. Ex we don't expect flawless Brood War players. These are master, grandmaster level StarCraft two players. And even if they did play Brood War, it's probably about at least two and a half years ago. So I don't expect them to remember everything, or or do that well. Now the barracks is gonna be scanning uh, to the left right here, but uh, we'll finally know. We'll finally see this. The bunker that will do some damage onto this SCB right now, probably taking around half its HP and be exactly half of it. And we do see the two factory coming up right now. So the SCV will know about this. And we'll see if this will be sufficient. Rather, we'll see if this will be effective because it is going to be a two fact coming in here. So he's going to get tanks. He's going to get vultures. He, But Beavis also has, you know, has opened up with just, I will both in... What I've seen in the TBT builds, we've seen, you know, just double machine shop actions, which is going straight on tank right here. But again, this is what I was talking about. Maro can just come in here right with a vulture and cause a lot of trouble. But, oh, it's taking so much fire, though. Ah, uh, that uh, bugging out right there. That reminds me of some Brood War. And this vulture, as long as it's, you know, properly microed with patrol micro, he should be very good to stay fine in this. But unfortunately, the micro isn't great. Uh, in Brood War, it, it kind of it does it never stops, so it'll never take any damage um, when it's properly microed. So, yeah, trying to do his best, trying to do his best, trying to separate the. Okay, but yeah, the patrol micro isn't that great. I don't. It's not looking like that at least. Some awesome micro going down right here, but one more shot off that SCV and he's done. SCVs trying to get there. SCVs. Uh, nope. See, that's what I mean. I mean, eventually the SCB could this could just be so annoying to kill off. Uh, and do to do to do getting getting up to four factors right here. Might be looking to do like a two base push right here. And really that's delayed Mebus dramatically. That Maru might be in a really good position. I mean, he's up to four factories right now. He's got a lot of vultures coming out. And if he gets speed, he could just try to run right in though. But we do have a good amount of tanks right here. He's pulling SCVs to go. No, he's going to defensive position right here. And the benefit, he's going to have a mineral. A mineral only for more vulture production if he, if he wants to. Which is always a nice, nice feature. Doo, doo. Vultures are being pressured right here by me. It's coming in here. See if he'll be able to do enough. There's already a tank, though. These vultures should, do, should just be deflected off right here. Mevis. Gonna look to, gonna look to do some more drop play. He does love that drop play. Look at this. We do have Maro pushing in right here. He's off the four factories. He's gonna have more production capabilities right here. Where are they rallied? They're all rallied. They're all rallied right to this location. That's gonna be pretty disastrous. Uh, but there's two tanks right here. It's going to be hard to push in here. TBT is a very difficult matchup to be aggressive in, especially when you can only select 12 units at a time. Wow. All right. Now, what is Maru going to look to do? Maru getting a good amount of... Depot's going down here and still have the four factories. Just continue pumping two tanks and two vultures. And he's setting up he's, he's setting up a contain right here. That vulture from Mebus though will get out of there and we'll be able to, you know, see if there is a third coming up and should be able to use that information to figure out he's probably setting up a contain on me. But did Maru forget siege mode again? Yep. He doesn't have siege mode. This vulture just going right by every single unit. Oh, hey, guys. He's going to go for it anyway. Oh, the, the, oh, no, 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 no. This is not a good idea. This is not a good idea. Everything from Mario has been killed off because of the of the mines. 
And as you can tell right here, that mine will not go off because of vultures. Any kind of vulture will not set them off. Oh man. He has the dropship out. The dropship's out, so he's gonna have the ability. And three more three more factories are being thrown down at this time. Oh, Meeb is trying to take an expansion. It looks like Varro knows about this. His STV is going to be dead. That's unfortunate. Goodbye, STV. Getting at the dropship for three vultures right here. Do, 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 do. I love this dropship. It's pretty awesome. Keep an eye out for that momentarily. That is not what I meant to press. That looks cool though, right? Right? This this nice camera angle. Change up the angle a little bit. I, I didn't know you could do that. Hold up, what? That just makes it look freaky. Drop commencing over here. And not. Ooh, not not doing too much right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there's no tanks in there. Never mind. This can actually prove to be effective right here. He's getting a couple of CD kills right here. Nice job right there. Wow. I'm glad this out is going to be killing off this barracks right here. We have a third base, fourth base. Being established right now for Morrow at this time. Morrow looking pretty dominant right now with the base count right here. But it looks like Mevis is going to be getting up that third base as well right now. Some action happening over here. Mevis is going to lose a tank from that engagement right now. Morrow trying to get up his his container. Unfortunately, he's going to have his uh, Terran uh, his barracks to be killed off soon. Is that what this noise is? It's so, it's so distracting. Like, oh, there's a big engagement happening. No, there's not. He's killing off rocks right here. Well, rocks will go down. I'm not really sure what that will do. He could put up some tanks right here. It's going to make it even more annoying to engage Terranon. But it looks like both these uh, barracks are going to be able to show they're both going to burn down. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have an SCV falling, are we? Doesn't look like it. To repair. Fifth base being established for Morrow. Morrow is getting as many bases as possible. Fantastic stuff right here. And he's going to be dropping some, some stuff. Oh, the mines are absolutely fantastic! Oh my god, the carnage is absolutely insane right here. He's... Maru's contained is slightly wearing off, and he's going to be in trouble, guys. He's taken one, two, three bases behind all of this. Oh, but look at this. Meme is going to try to take this. Where's he going, man? Huh. We're going to have a drop play happening in the top right-hand corner, guys. This is intense. Continuing to come in here. He should he should immediately drop up on there once knowing that. He doesn't know about that as he the rally point, but uh, we'll just drop one and try to kill off the SCV. We'll kill that off. Continuing the drop light happening over here. Uh, this base is completely undefended. Will be in position to defend this? No, he will not be, guys. And this base is still... Oh, this base has been spotted by Mara right now. Dropping in here, right here. The SCVs are all going to die. Nice drop light happening over here. At that three o'clock, two of Morrow's vultures will clean it up and should be sending another SCV over there to help to defend right now. But this is what Morrow, this is exactly what Mavis needed to do to do some kind of harassment to delay these these bases for a significant amount of time because he's only been off a of two base while well, he has been constantly mining. Of course, time. But Morrow will know about this base and he should be sending reinforcements because the mine should give him vision. If we're not mistaken, right here. Yep. Right there, he will know about that base. Thrown down. Morrow, still continuing to set up this nice contain happening over here. Has eight tanks overall. Getting the Goliath. Just doing a very good job. Now, do what, what are the upgrades looking like for both these players right now? You have the double upgrades for Mebus right now. Mebus is currently at 1-1 one, one upgrades. Mebus will get two vultures out of here, trying to harass this base in the bottom right-hand corner, trying to defend, rather. And uh, Morrow, 
I don't think he's, he's got to lift, lift off. He's not going to have enough uh, units up to defend right now. That is very unfortunate for Mevis because it means he's going to be restricted up a two his economy. Wow. Just wow. We have a, we have a drop here by Mevis right here. Getting a couple of SCV kills right here. But four. There are mines right there that could go off. That could potentially drag into the middle line if he's not careful off to one of those Goliaths right now. We'll push back though. And those are actually, those are Maro's, excuse me. And that base is trying to fly away. But Maro is not going to have any of that. Mevis. Oh no, he's not going to even leave a vulture there. Surprisingly. Mevis going to be going to be re bring down that base right there. Very surprising actually by Maro to leave that base alive. But really, Maro has so many bases right now. Five of which are continuing to happily mine. The saturation of these are pretty good. Maybe a little bit over saturation on the main. But really, too good. Getting the double upgrades going right there as well. Pretty awesome stuff. Looks like a barracks did fall down in the, in the mix of this. That is the science facility. That is pretty awesome. That looks pretty cool. I saw the dropship somewhere. Dropship's coming in here. What's he going to do? Is he going to lift up stuff? Yes, he will. He's going to uh, lift up the tank right here. Have a dropping happen over here right now. Uh, those mines could do something. Uh, Mara will get ultimately killed off. Excuse me. Re Mevis, on the other hand, will get killed off right now. Okay. Mebus still is not utilizing his bottom right hand base at this time. Has a and Maro just still has this giant contain being left out right here. Pretty good stuff going down right here. Okay. Gonna be having a decent amount of stuff filled in this drop ship right here. Two vultures, but being spotted by the missile turrets all spotted around. He's gonna lose the drop ship. This is how tight the contain is, is over Mebus right now. Ridiculous. Maro even has his own right here. Oh, look at this. He's dropped a siege tank right here. Two kills so far. Got to be dropping his own tank. Maro will ha happily defend that very efficiently. We get killed off. And this, these, these, these are uh, mines. Excuse me. Could do some a decent number, but uh, our ultimate just gonna leave them there. All right. Mevis at 108 supply compared to the 150. Of Maru. Maru got to be taking this another expansion right here. Maru is taking this whole side of his, his whole right side of the map right now. Getting a lot of dropships worth, so he's going to start to start dropping in here. I'm surprised after all this, he still hasn't taken his mineral only for Mevis. Um, and it looks like he may lose his uh, Terran, uh, Terran Science Facility. Ooh, yeah, taking a lot of fire at that with their. And we have T1 upgrades for Maru compared to the. They're both at T1, apparently. Equal in the upgrades. Got to be doing the Doom Drop right here, coming in right here. He could be sieging up this middle line, could be in a lot of trouble. Nice reaction happening from Mevis right here. Loving that, could have been a lot worse. And the four dropships will get away safely. Now right here, but he's gonna be drinking the dropships right here with the vultures trying to drop on top of that. Massive damage being done. My God, the splash damage is absolutely critical on the match. Wow. And that push, because he has been killed off with, but these takes. Not doing a whole lot, but has stopped a lot of mining right now off this natural expansion right now. Going for another another drop right here. GG by Mebus once he sees that Doom drop coming in here. Maru is going to be up 2-0 in this TBT. Mebus is going to have to come back. It went two more games to make an ace match possible. But Maru's won convincingly both games, especially game two. Especially that last game. Well played. Well played. Amazing shit going down. Wow. Next map. What will be the next map, guys? That will be soon to be found out. All right. Oh.
Oh, I throw fire. Looks like we will be deciding momentarily, guys. Beavis is asking to switch races. Will the tournament allow him to? Lalish approves and says yes. Map will be Grand Line, so it will be a TV something coming up. All right. We are now just waiting to enter the next game. Well, wow. just just simply waiting. All right, I've been invited. Grand Line SE. Good map coming up right here. All right, so it will be a TVZ, Mevis going for the Zerg. All right. Grand Line, pretty big map as well, guys. Um, actually, reminds me a lot of uh, Electric Circuit. All right, let's get into our third match of the finals of the SC2 Breed War Weekly, number two from your host, Aaron Casta. I cut, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Jamie. Spawning in the bottom right hand corner of our orange Zerg. It will be Mevis. As oh wait, it's all SE2. Oh wait, we're gonna restart. Hold on. Are we gonna restart or not? All right, we're going to restart. All right.
it looks like we're having some technical difficulties with the mod right now. But we're just going to retry it. So this could be good. Beavis has switched to Zerg. Ma uh, Maro is still the awesome pro gamer Terran. I believe he. W I believe Maro won the first weekly. Ah. Okay, we're going to try this again, guys. Finals, game number three, coming live at you at Lilush5 on Twitch.tv. Even though I'm not Lilush. All right, guys, welcome back to the StarCraft II Brood War Weekly number two. This is <laughs> final game number three. You'll be your host and cast uh, Jamie. And spotting in the bottom left-hand corner as our blue Terran. And everyone leaves again. It looks like this mouse bugged. So while we figure out the technical difficulties... What should we talk about? Chat, you are open to give me... Chat's working. Destination for a TVZ, it looks like. No, I was wrong. No, is it? We might have fighting spirit. All right. By the way, I am not playing. All right, guys, welcome to the fi for the third iteration of the game three of the finals from the SE2 Brood War week two finals. Gonna be awesome. It'll be your host and Casta Jamie. Let's make sure we thank our sponsor, 
Russ. Oh shit, I forget his name. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> Is it Russ Brain, I believe? Russ Brain. And let's introduce our players right here. Spawning in the bottom right hand corner on Fighting Spirit. It will be our pro gamer, Mara from Team Mouse Sports, and his opponent in the bottom left hand corner. As our orange Zerg, it will be Mebus who has switched from Terran to Zerg. Because he feels like he wants to do that. So that will be very interesting. And again, thanks to Laylush for running this tournament. For, for, for admitting it. And he's kind of the person that's making this all happen. Uh, organizing, at least. So close by air positions. Um, we'll see what Mebus will do. Now, Fighting Spirit, pretty standard stuff. I, I, I really wouldn't imagine we would see a whole lot of... It, it's somewhat hard to predict. Because um, you can go Lurkers. You can, you can also go Mutalists on this map. You can also go for pretty much any all-in build. This is a pretty generic map. I wouldn't say there's a specific strategy that doesn't necessarily work on this map. So, with that in mind... We'll see what Maru will do. Generally, um, Terrans can go for a whole bunch of different things. They can go for like a two racks. Um, it's not like it's not 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 in like the two racks where you just push and you know rally across the map, but you could go for like a two rack stim timing push. Um, that's something that I've been doing. I've been opening a lot in um, on iCup recently. Not this because I don't play this, but uh, you could do that. Uh, you could also do like a three racks. Um, more stronger with a M&M timing. Uh, it comes a little bit more powerful as the T-Rex push. Um, it's more economic, so you can get up your CC faster. Um, you can also see mech openings from Terran, uh, which you would have already seen the refinery gone down already if he was planning to do that, so it doesn't look like it will be a mech. Um, and so, yeah. At least that's what I think we would expect. And you can also just see like a one racks FE as well, which it looks like we may just see coming straight up. Now he has decided to go for the opening of a, just a, a standard twelve hatch. He's gonna go. What? Whoa! What? Maru, Mevis, have you played Zerg before? He's mad droning right now. You, you, you generally get. Oh, he doesn't have the build. Ugh. Okay, so he's actually opted to go for this. The third hatchery way quicker. Um, which I believe he thinks he has like the mind of the build set up. He is um He's planning to do a and this bunker rush is gonna be successful. There's no there's no question about it. Uh, you generally want to do the hatchery at twelve. Then you drone back up to twelve if you want to be super economic about it. Oh hold on. Um yeah, that bunker's gonna finish. Oh will he get in there? Yes he will. Uh He'll get up, he'll get up with Creep Colony, but this is going to be really annoying to deal with. But you want to get that third hatchery after around 16 supply, because otherwise there's really no point to get it. Ah, this, this Creep Colony is in range, actually. Should have been one, like, one thing back, whatever that means, whatever, like, block back. Uh, and does get taken out, unfortunately. So he's going to lose his base. There's no, the, he can't defend, I don't think. And he's not even building uh, any links right now, either. Uh, nice for Amaro to just exploit this right now. He can just attack that base if he wants to. And, I mean, he's still off of... He's getting up the three racks now. So, looking very good. Wow. Oh, he was supply blocked, that's why. Marine's getting really close up to the bunker so they can just quickly jump back in. This is beautiful play from Amaro right here. Mevis in a lot of trouble. Looking to expand in the top left-hand corner despite all this aggression. He has a lot of links, though. He has so many links, he can break through this with no problem. Yeah, he if he pushes, he, got, he has this. And, yep. Might not be the most cost-effective way, but he will clean this up, though. Especially with another four links coming down. 
Goodbye, Maru. Blah, blah, ha, ha, ha. Mar um, me, uh, me, this will just go for a counter push right here. Now, it's not very standard to go for a super quick third like this. Um, unless you're going to go Turtle Zerg, but then you wouldn't get this extra hatchery. Um, but this macro hatch. But uh, nice tight wall right here, and ultimately we'll deflect off these links. So I would have thought it would have been game over. But that's why I don't. Ha that's why I hesitate to say any such things because it's generally not true. Those links will return on home. Now we're gonna begin the lair right there, and he's off a three racks right here. So he's gonna want to get up a. Okay, he's, he has his eBay already going down here. Um, now, we would see a Hydra dead being thrown down uh, very soon, like like now. He was going to go Lurkers or Meatless. Meatless are way easier to control, and they're ridiculously good. Um, because if you, guys, if you guys don't know, a 3 hatch meter push, that hatchery is unbelievably low on HP. A 3 hatch meter allows you to do a lot of things. It allows you to, one, to harass the, harass the Terran. It also allows you to... Well, that, those, those five reds look awesome. They also allow you to get more map control and allows you to get your third base up. Um, it's a really multi-purpose and that's why it's standard. Now, he's going to get up two sunks. You, you need at least four to defend this, uh, probably. But there's only one medic with this. Uh, all right, so he's getting it on the four ones that I talked about. Going to get the Evo Chambers. Well, two Evo Chambers. That's what trying to stall for time right here, but none of these are even finished right now. This is going to be tough. Kitty Morphum. Kitty Morphum. Two sunks are already done. Excuse me. He could maybe potentially kill off these Evo Chambers if he doesn't decide to push in. But this top left-hand base is starting to be established right here as well. Um, no Spire, though. So, um, I don't really know except what Mebus is planning. But he, he should be safe from any kind of bio push until tanks are out. Uh, but he's still making a lot of bio. Uh, there, there goes down the factory. Yeah. Oh, Terran scouting this out. <laughs> he's in the hatchery right now. Pretty awesome. He's pretty in the hatchery right now. <laughs> pretty good stuff. All right. So Lings are on their way to defend. Now this bio, this bio can kill this base off, and unfortunately, this is kind of why you need the meatless out. Where did Spire go? Oh, there it is. Oh, he's getting a Spire. I just don't have that n handy tool of the production tab. Goodbye, Marine. But goodbye, base, because this is a lot of units coming out. My God, how much bio does he have? Holy shit! Oh my God, he has so much stuff right now. Oh, that beetle is big. That looks sick. Are you kidding me? Those fire bats are awesome. Uh, Meatles coming in here. That is going to be a lot of Meatles coming in there. But um, I believe nine. Marine's coming in here. Kitty Micro. Yes, he can. This is how good they are. Goodbye, turrets. He's lost his base, though. All right, well, what will he do? He's going to have a lot of trouble defending without his units back at home base. And this is often the trouble when Terran pushes out. But taking a lot of fire, one Meatles has 20 HP left. Very nice volleys right there, never missing one. Turret is up, though. It does take, fun fact, if you have 12 Meatles, you can kill off a turret and two volleys. Or 11, because it will burn down. Oh, take a lot of fire right here. He needs to get to the middle line, though, not hurricane. Doing his best right here. Going in there. Goodbye, Marines. So much air stacking. <laughs> now, imagine if there was a Thor in this game. Blah, 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 blah. Goodbye, Meatles. And he sees mining at the main base for this entire time. Thor continuing to reinforce more links right here. Ooh, taking a little bit of fire from that. Three Meatles beginning to... Um, unfortunately, I think this Meatles threat has been killed off because with so many turrets being made. 
And unfortunately, this push has been very entertaining to watch, but hasn't done anything. Uh, the purpose of that is to secure third. He hasn't done so. He's lost his third, and really, this push hasn't done anything. It's nice to watch, but Terran, gonna be ahead from that. You're gonna go for a quick hive, actually. Um, which means he's gonna go for Greater Spire tech, but unfortunately, he has no Mutalisk slip. He's gonna try to double expand behind this, but if this Terran, if, if Maru is competent like he's shown in the past two games, he should be able to end this game pretty soon. These Marines will be pushing across the map. These fire bats are so awesome, though. Woo! Now, that's a cool view. I'm not going to lie. Pushing in here. Coming in there. We'll be stimming in. You know how I have these viewing angles in Brood War, but anyway. Look at those fire bats going. Lings were on their way there, but unfortunately it's not, and did force a cancel, if not uh, a death. Is he going to try to hide this drone? Will he be able to hide it? Ah, uh, yes, in the corner. Lynx going back home, and again, that's what I mean. I mean, t any t any Terran that's competent will just be able to go out here. He has his vessels right here. He's going to SK Tower here. Nice splitting of the Marines right there. Very well done. And Terran's going to be all over the map now, and Zerg? Gun struggle to get out of here. He will have the Greater Spire coming up. No, we gotta go for Defiler tech. And Ultra Cap. There's no way. He has a ton of bank. Uh, this is close. Ooh, drone did get killed off. I will fire bat, buddy. He's checking for that base right now. Oh no, he's not gonna see it! No! Firebat, dude! Funny, funny stuff. And Tower's gonna be cont contently off of this T base for some time. Coming in here with all of his bio. T Major Sick is, is Firebat. He loves his dude so much. I respect that. Fireback, go! Push in there, be the hero! No, you die! So much CBS with plus one Marines right here. This should be GG, guys, if this, is, if this hasn't already been a good game already. Um, this game hasn't already been over. Firebat, go in there, stimming his way up there. Ultras are out, but with only one one upgrades, they're really not that good. But my god, he's still, he somehow's produced four, but the Iranian's gonna do so much damage! We'll be pushing that one back right here. Will he have enough to deal with this? Keep in mind, they're only 1-1 one, one Ultras. They will melt pretty fast as long as they target fire right now. These Ultras are taking so much fire. They're looking to die right now. Marines are doing so good right now. Woo! Wow, good G. Good stuff. GG. Mara will take the second week in a row of StarCraft 2 Brood War Weekly. Congratulations, Mara. Well done, well done. If I'm not mistaken, that is the end of the tour. That is the end of the tour, guys. So do whatever the f you want to do. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some food. Probably like a tuna fish sandwich or something. I know it's already five o'clock here. I'm going to go, guys, so peace. Russ, Russ Brain, thanks for sponsoring, and Lalush, thanks for running. Peace, guys.